Actually finishing blowing off and uh, I'm waiting for him. I feel like Sean Spencer right now. I'm just messing Sean. <laughs> but uh, today is Thursday and we are busting these out. We got Thursday's list and Friday's list. We have done four on Thursday's list. It's 9.47. We started about 8.30. Well, quarter after eight probably. You didn't lock up the rest of the trimmers. I didn't lock up the trimmers? Nope. I'm always yelling at Billy for not locking up the trimmers. Looks like... I didn't lock them up this You've time. You've done it three times. Three Since times? Since you told me not to. Every time you tell me, oh, make sure you lock up the trimmers. Don't be like Max. And then, and then like, next, the week after that, three times I'll catch you doing it. Really? Yeah. I better get on that, though. Yeah, huh? you should. Before we lose a trimmer. There was a guy that posted a uh, thing about equipment defenders. Said, These things are junk. I lost a trimmer because it fell out. The spring broke on the latch. Well, you know what? That spring can break. They can all break. But if you have the lock twisted over and the door for the lock mechanism pushed up, all those springs can break and your trimmer will never fall out of there. But the guy said, they're junk. And I think he was trying to get equipment defender to buy him a new trimmer because he lost it off there. But, you know, if he knew how to use the racks or maybe he does know and if he used them the right way that trimmer would have never come out of there even if the spring broke but he even tested it after be, yeah because when you <laughs> turn the latch over a piece of steel goes through the hole that is on the mechanism that's bolted to the trimmer so the spring can break all at once it'll never come out of there but anyway so today's thursday we got thursday's list and friday's list my wife and my youngest left this morning for scout camp. They go every year for, well, today's Thursday. They'll be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they come back Sunday. So it is just me and Billy over here. My daughter is not home either. No, I don't want one yet. My daughter is not home either. So it's just me and Billy right now. And uh, we got Thursday's list and Friday's list. We wrapped up that brush job as you guys saw in the video yesterday and uh that's done for now phase one there's going to be phase two of that but so this weekend since i got a lot of extra time and i'm not going to be doing a whole heck of a lot with the family wise me and roscoe are going to burn the huge brush pile where i've been dumping all that brush from that job and he dumps a lot of brush and i've showed it before in the past it's a place there's a farm where we dump and uh and we go like twice a year and we burn it off so um we'll be lighting that up saturday night i will show that and uh, this weekend I will be doing the video. A lot of people are still asking me about the comfort trims. I think new guys are asking what they are and stuff. And I try to respond back to all those comments and put a link to them uh, on Amazon. They're only 29 bucks. So I put a link to them so you can order them if you want. I don't have any discount code for those uh, like I do for the Cujos and stuff. But uh, So there will be a video for that coming up um, this weekend. The giveaway video if anybody's interested in winning. I got three pairs they sent me to give away. And... Uh, so I'll be making that video this weekend, and I will also be doing a video. I got a pair of the battery-operated, the small steel hedge trimmers. And uh, I'm going to trim the hedges, the small bushes in my front yard, and I'll show you why I got them. And uh, we'll do a quick little review on those. And this weekend, I'm also going to be doing a final thoughts review on that Hustler. I know I put a couple videos out on it, and I gave my opinion a little bit here and there, and Billy's opinion. And... Uh, but I'm going to do, uh, I'll put some footage together, a combination of those two videos, and I'll do a voiceover, and I'll give you my entire final opinion on that mower and what I think. Um, but for now, we're just going to continue mowing. Right, Billy? I'm going to continue eating. Yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> He's going to continue eating. So, all right. Well, let's get at it and get something done here.
you hear that noise? It's called cicada. Brian Shane posted that in one of his videos a while back and he showed a picture of one. Isn't that crazy? They're so loud. Here's Billy Stripes. Nice and straight. He did a good job here and it butts right up to the golf course and he made it look better than a golf better than the golf course that's right there. Kind of looks like a watermelon, don't it? Like the size of a watermelon. See, some of our yards are still green. Not many. I'm just kidding. A lot of them are actually coming back all the rain we've gotten. It's been pretty good. Almost done. As soon as TQ finishes blowing off that driveway, we're out of here. Billy's out doing his thing. We got done with our Thursday list. We're gonna knock a couple off the Friday list and then call it quits for the day so that I have time to go to the gym and we both need to go get our hairs cut. But uh, you guys enjoy Billy Moan for a little bit.